Hi, and welcome back. In this lesson, we'll learn how to add tilt motion control to a shoot 'em up game prototype. Touchscreen games are fun, but with Protopie's native sensor support, you can deliver an adrenaline pumping gameplay experience like never before. Tilt left, tilt right, and let your intuition guide your ship through the thrilling challenges that await in this shoot 'em up game. All this is made possible using the tilt trigger, which allows you to control your fighter by simply tilting your phone. Be sure to have the Protopie Player app installed on your phone to test the experience, and get ready to put your reflexes to the test. Let the adventure begin! Open the Pi in Protopie Studio. To begin, let's understand the basics of the tilt sensor in your phone. When working with the tilt sensor, we'll need a trigger to activate it. Add a tilt trigger. This trigger allows us to choose the specific direction we want to work with, X, Y, or Z axis. X is for tilting away from you or towards you. Y is for tilting it left and right as you turn your wrist. And Z is for turning it left and right as if you were turning a steering wheel. So the plane of the phone stays parallel to you, but you are moving it left and right as if you were turning a steering wheel. For our game, we'll be using the Y-axis tilt to control the left and right movement of our fighter. To set this up, we'll need to add a tilt trigger and choose the Y-axis as our direction. In response to tilting my phone left and right, I want to move the ship, so let's use a move response. Next, we need to define the range of tilt that corresponds to the movement of our ship. We'll set the leftmost tilt, or tilting to the left, as minus 10 degrees, which will move the ship to the X coordinate of 63 pixels. Similarly, we'll set the rightmost tilt, or tilting to the right, as plus 10 degrees moving the ship to the X coordinate of 312 pixels. Pro tip, keep in mind that Protopie will automatically fill in the values in between, allowing for smooth and continuous movement. So at a neutral tilt of zero degrees, the ship will be positioned halfway between 63 and 312 pixels. Now let's preview. To see the tilt control in action, you'll need the Protopie player app. Let's run this on our phone. Remember, the neutral position is determined by the tilt of your phone when you start the prototype. So wherever your phone happens to be when you hit the run button, that is considered the neutral point. Now it's time to have some fun. Feel free to tilt your phone left and right to move your ship. Awesome, you've just made your first game interaction using Protopie's native sensor support with just a few clicks. Let's take it a step further and add tilt control in the forward and backward directions. This will allow us to control the ship's movement along the y-axis. To do this, we'll add another tilt trigger, this time choosing the x-axis as our direction. Once again, let's add a move response on the fighter. Let's set the forward tilt, or the direction away from you, as minus 5 degrees, and the y-position of the ship should be at 550 pixels. And as you tilt it back towards you, you can use the neutral position of the ship at the bottom point, so zero degrees. Then the ship will be at 650 pixels. Now let's run the prototype again and test the combined tilt controls. Remember to position your phone at the desired neutral position before running the prototype. Let's get moving. Tilt your phone in any direction, left, right, forward, or backward. Observe how each tilt triggers specific movements of the ship, and notice how they work together. Because each trigger is only working one direction of the ship, you can have X and Y happening at the same time. So if you move the ship forward, it moves in the Y direction. As you tilt it left and right, it moves the ship left and right. Well done! By incorporating just a couple of tilt triggers and move responses, you've made an engaging and immersive gameplay element to add to your game prototypes. See you in the next one!